are at the Woodlands Christian Academy welcoming Kyle Harris with you on the call here. Up to the plate is shortstop Madeline Bame here for St. Joseph Catholic. The Eagles are going up against the Woodlands Christian Warriors today over here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. You have Katie Wise on the mound, junior. It's going to be popped up foul. Here we are out here, Lady Warrior softball here this morning. Thank you for being with us today. All right, pitch from Wise gonna be a little bit low inside. It's gonna be ball two, two one count. Another low inside ball there for Wise. Defense working behind, behind Wise is going to be Hopkins at first, Harris at second, Morris at short, Page at third, Melbourne in left, Chamberlain in center, and in right field is going to be Blackwell. And that's going to graze the inside corner for strike two on Madeline Bain. Here we go, full count here. For Bame. Wise with the pitch. And it's going to be a little bit low inside. First play of the game is going to be a walk for Madeline Bame. She's going to go over, head on over to first there. First walk of the game for Wise. Coming up to the plate now is going to be center fielder Lena Lipscomb here for St. Joseph Catholic. Strike one as Lipscomb swings through that fastball high and inside for strike one. Bame over at first. No lead off for Bame here. The pitch to Lipscomb. She swings through again for strike two. Katie Wise. Working 0-2 count now after that full count walk that was just issued. Center fielder Lipscomb here. 0-2 count, no outs. Pitch from Wise. And it was a off-speed pitch. Lipscomb waited on it and fouled it the other way to stay in and battle. Got a nice crowd over here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. A great Saturday afternoon in North Houston, Texas. I'm going to get a new ball, the coach. Here's the pitch to Lipscomb, and way high. Wise kind of lost that one, but Derelek able to get to the backstop, get that ball, but the runner did advance. Madeline Bame over to second now on the pass ball. Wise here with a 1-2 count. Get some words of encouragement from the third base coach. Pitch from Wise. Going to be another high and outside. Wise after those first two strikes. A little bit out of control here. As Lipscomb chokes up on the bat here with two strikes on the count. And strike three. Another high outside fastball. Lipscomb could not hold up, and that's going to be the first strike out of the day for junior Katie Wise. The Woodlands Christian Warriors are led by head coach Katie Maddock and assisted by her father, Mike Maddock. St. Joseph Catholic is going to be coached by Alex Castaleja. Actually has his younger sister playing on the team. She hits fourth coming up after this batter, and that's strike one to Elena Cooter from Wise. Cooter, the right-hander, steps in the box. 0-1 count with one out here. 
zero zero ball game in the top of the first. Pitch from Wise. A little bit high and outside there for Wise. She tries with the off speed. Pitch from Wise. It's a little bit high. As Wise has been not able to find the strike zone with that fastball and the since that 0-2 count she had to Lipscomb. And another high outside fastball. Derelict couldn't hold on to that one. It's just a little bit too high for her to grab, but she goes to the backstop and get it. But Baim is going to go ahead and advance to third base on that pass ball. It's a 3-1 count here now to Cooter. The pitch from Wise. And it's going to be high. It's going to be the second walk issue to the day for Katie Wise, the junior. She's not really finding control of that fastball placement here. It's calls her infield in. And the catcher, Derelict, goes out there with everybody. A little bit of regroup here. Get some defensive positioning here with one out. Runners on first and third. Woodlands Christian can get out of this one with a double play ball here. As you see the smack of the bats actually right behind us is the boys. Boys Warriors warming up and getting some batting practice in with coach. So if you hear that little crack of the bat sound in the background, just know the boys field is right behind us working a little bit of batting practice out here at Woodlands Christian Academy. Here stepping up to the plate now third baseman Elise Castaleja. She is the sister to head coach Alex Castaleja, who also used to play back on St. Joseph Catholic when he was a teenager. She's going to start fouling a pitch off. 0-1 count to start here for Wise. Pitch from Wise is good. It's going to go right back to her. She's actually going to go throw home and tag Bame on the out. Fielder's choice. And Elise Castaleja is going to get to first on the fielder's choice from Wise. Cooter's going to also move over to second now with two outs in the inning. So here we go. Stepping up to the plate now, right-hander first baseman Bailey Harris. Let's see what Harris can do here. Runners on first and second with two outs. The pitch from Wise is a strike. Low outside fastball there for Wise. It's going to be a little bit high and inside there for Wise. It's going to be a 1-1 count here now to Harris. to see that most of the St. Joseph Catholic batters as Harris takes ball two low outside in the dirt. Most of these batters here for St. Joseph Catholic are choking up on the bat, trying to get as much control as they can. Katie Wise trying to get out of this one here. It's going to be now 3-1 count here to Harris. I'm assuming she'll take as we've seen Wise struggle to find control here in the top of the first. Three one count here, two outs, runners on first and second. And that's gonna be swung through and missed. Nice cut there by Harris, but not able to catch up to it quick enough. Wise working away back into it with a full count here. Three, two, two outs. Katie Wise, the pitch to Bailey Harris. And it's going to be strike three, high and inside. Harris was starting to walk to first base there, but umpire rolled her up there. And that's going to do it for the top of the first inning. Still 0-0 here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. You're listening to Fight. Don't go anywhere.
by pieces this week. Welcome back in to the Woodlands Christian Academy. Kyle Harris here with you on the call as the Lady Warriors going up against the Lady Eagles this afternoon ball game. It's going to be Ashley Derelict coming up for the first batter here for Woodlands Christian. Derelict is going to attempt to bunt and then back out for strike one. It's going to be Eva Saldana on the bump here for St. Joseph. Derelict showing bun again, backs away and swings it. It's going to be hit right back to Saldana and lined out for out number one. It's going to be out number one for Saldana. Coming up to the plate now is the opposing pitcher here. For Woodlands Christian, it's going to be number five, junior Katie Wise here. See if Wise can help herself here on the mound as she fouls the first one up over the backstop. Saldana with the pitch. It's going to be low and inside. Wise is going to take it. 43 feet from the pitcher's mound to home plate here in high school softball. 43 feet to work with, Saldana has. And the pitch to Wise, and Wise fouls that one off. Hard hitting foul off the third baseline. Gets over there by the batting cages over here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. Beautiful facility they have out here. Is out here back behind the school in the athletic complex have all the fields pretty much right next to each other with the soccer, baseball, and softball field all here. And that one's very wild pitch there from Saldana and a lost grip of it as the ball sailed way over the head of Katie Wise. It's going to be ball two, 2-2 two, two count here to Wise, the pitcher. Pitch from Saldana, she fouls it off, and it's going to be strike three as it goes right into the mid of Cooter. And that's going to be the second out of the inning here for St. Joseph. Coming up to the plate now, senior first baseman, number 24, Maddie Hopkins. See what Hopkins can do here. As she takes a pitch from Saldana. And Hopkins looks back at the umpire after that call. High fastball that was called for a strike. Coach Maddock on the third base sideline. No, it's all right. Step right back into it and get another pitch from Saldana. Is that one's high and outside? A little bit out of control there for Saldana. One one count here now to Hopkins. Nice hit up the middle for the first hit of the ball game. Maddie Hopkins with the liner right over the head of Saldana. Gets the first runner on base here for the Warriors. Go, nice little single up the middle there for Maddie Hopkins. Coming up to the plate now is shortstop senior, 
Number 10, Mackenzie Morris, takes the first fastball high and inside for ball one. Pitch to Morris. Morris swings, gets a little bit of it, backs up in the left field, and it hits the wall as Bienski couldn't handle it. Coming around to score is going to be Hopkins, and on the double there is senior Mackenzie Morris getting it start, getting it going here for Woodlands Christian. It's going to be a one nothing lead here now for Woodlands Christian. The bottom of the first here. Coming up to the plate now, center fielder, junior Keela Chamberlain. Chamberlain hits one down the line, foul on the third baseline. Defense behind Eva Saldana here for St. Joseph. You got Cooter behind the plate, Harris at first, Bienski at second. Bame's going to be at third. Castaleja is going to be at sh uh, third. Bame's going to be at short. Excuse me. Bienski's going to be in left. Lipscomb in center and Badgett in right. And the swing is going to be fouled off over the backstop here for Chamberlain. 0-2 count now with Morris at second. One out in the inning. Derelict lined out to the pitcher. First batter here for Woodlands Christian for the first out. 0-2 count here now to Chamberlain. See what the center fielder can do here with Morris at second. The pitch from Saldana. It's going to be popped up in the infield. Shortstop. Bames got it. And that's going to do it for out number three. Excuse me, Wise struck out for out number two. Now do it for us in the bottom of the first inning. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Vipe Houston. Welcome back into the broadcast here for the top of the second inning. Kyle Harris here on the call with you at the Woodlands Christian Academy. It's going to be strike one here for Katie Wise, who struggled in that first inning. Did have two walks to go along with two strikeouts in the first inning, so struggling a little bit with control here is Wise. Emily Bienski is up to bat, and she swings for that high fastball for strike two. Bienski in right field today here for St. Joseph. Coach Len Bienski know 
that she is late on those fastballs thrown by Wise. Let's see what Wise comes up here with with the 0-2 count. The swing and the miss. Another fastball high and inside. It's going to be strikeout number three for Wise on the day. Coming up to the plate now is going to be Emily Bienski's sister, Bryn Bienski, the second baseman here today for St. Joseph. Number 21 and 22, respectively. So the pitch from Wise is going to be a high fastball. It's a beautiful day out here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. It's going to be the pitch from Katie Wise. That's going to be called for a strike by the home plate umpire, low and inside. Nice pitch there from Wise. Got a 1-1 one -one count here now for Bryn Bienski. And kind of like a little low golf swing there from Bienski. It's going to be strike two. She got, Katie Wise got Bienski chasing that ball low in the dirt. Bienski bit on it though for strike two. It's going to be a one-two count here to Bienski with one out. The pitch from Wise and that's going to hit Bienski in the leg. She gets some applause from her teammates taking one on the chin. As we say and that's going to be the first hit by pitch of the day here for Katie Wise going to take Bryn Bienski over to first base. Coming up now is the designated hitter number 15, Gabby Roy. Let's see what Roy can do here against Wise as Wise has struggled with her command today. Pitch from Wise is going to be high and outside, swung on and missed by Roy. 0-1 count here with Bienski on first. Choking up a lot here is Roy. Almost a good three or four inches. And that's going to be another fastball on the inside corner to Roy. Roy's going to watch as it goes by for strike two. 0 2 count here now. One out for St. Joseph Catholic. Trying to get on the board here. Pitch from Wise is going to be low in the dirt. The steal from. Bienski and she's going to get out as the great pick in the dirt there from Derelek. I'm sure Bienski saw that pitch go in the dirt. Nice throw, Ash. And she got caught stealing for out number two. here. Tough spot here. Nobody on the base pass now with 2-2 two, two pitch and two out. She's going to hit that right over the head of second baseman Harris and it's going to go into the right fielder Blackwell who's going to get it back into Wise and that's going to be the first hit of the day here for St. Joseph as Roy just hits a liner right over the head of that second baseman. Let's get someone on the base pass for Roy. Now coming up to the plate is pitcher Eva Saldana. Wise going to throw fastball right down the middle for strike one. So far in this game is one to nothing. As Woodlands Christian got it going with a couple of hits last inning by Hopkins and Morris to score the first run of the game. Swung through and missed with Saldana on the high outside fastball thrown here by Wise. She has Roy on first base for her. Let's see what Wise has here. The 0-2 pitch with two outs. Low and inside, it's gonna be a ball. Pitcher trying to help herself here, Eva Saldana at the plate. One, two count, high pitch there from Wise. Just got a wave from her there. 
Derelict showing throw to first, but just pump fake in that one. 2-2 two, two count here. Two outs to Saldana. The pitch is hit right up. Derelict goes out and gets it right in front of home plate for the third out of the inning. That's going to do it here for the top of the second. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Score, Woodlands Christian 1, St. Joseph Catholic, nothing. Back in to Vipe Houston. Kyle Harris on the call here with the Woodlands Christian Academy. Score currently 1-0. to zero. Woodlands Christian leads over St. Joseph Catholic. As we have freshman Kirby Page coming up to the plate. She's going to smack one over the second baseman, Bienski, who couldn't handle that one. And that's going to be an error on the second baseman. That should have been a routine pop out there, just unable to handle it. Hit on the edge of her glove. Doing E4 for Paige as she gets over to first here. Coming up to the plate now, right fielder, number 14, Sierra Blackwell. Blackwell with, with the pause to the pitcher, and now Saldana throws it. Really low pitch there. It hits the dirt. It's going to be ball one here to Blackwell. So we get the call here from Coach Maddox. See if they want to attempt a steal here. Blackwell. It's going to be a bunt for Blackwell, but it's going to go foul down the first baseline. Page going to have to go back to first on that one. Nice attempt there to try and get Page over to second for Blackwell. Try to play a little bit of small ball here. Gonna be Saldana still on the mound with the pitch, and that one. Uh, Page on the steal attempt there, and she's gonna get there on the steal as curveball was just a little bit hard for catcher Cooter to handle, and hesitated a little bit on that transition gave Page enough time to get over to first base on the steal. Blackwell here now sitting with a one-two count, no outs. Page at second. The pitch from Saldana. It's going to be high and inside. This goes right by Blackwell's waist for ball two. Junior Sierra Blackwell stands all the way in the very front of the box. And that's going to be strike three to Sierra Blackwell. She's going to strike out on the curveball low and outside that we just saw from Saldana. So we're seeing a lot from Saldana today. A lot of curveballs, a lot of off speeds to try and keep these hitters from Woodlands Christian off balance. 
She got Blackwell right there. Now stepping up to the plate, the left fielder, Katie Melber. She's going to swing one. That's going to be hit. Drop right in front of the left fielder, Bienski. Coming around and going home is Paige, and she's going to score off the RBI single from Katie Melber. It's going to be the second run of the ball game here for Woodlands Christian. Coming up to the plate now, second baseman, senior number three, Reagan Harris. She's going to swing at the first pitch away. It's going to be Bame under it, the shortstop. She's going to get under it and record the second out. Now back up to the top of the order. It's going to be Ashley Derelict, the star catcher here for Woodlands Christian, lined out to the pitcher in the first at bat. Interesting decision how she fakes the bunt attempt and then comes back. It was kind of just the start of her, um, her motion when she hits. Reminds me a little bit of Ichiro Suzuki. A little bit of fake bunt attempt here, but just seems to be that's part of her, her batting motion here is very obscure uh, motion to start out with, and that one's going to hit her right in the back. The curveball from Saldana didn't curve, and that's going to be runners on first and second now here for Woodlands Christian. First hit by pitch of the game by Saldana. Melbourne's going to go over and advance to second. Now coming up to bat is the pitcher, number five, Katie Wise. Let's see if she can help herself out here as she struck out in the first inning. That one's going to be high and almost went for it, but held up there on the high fastball from Saldana for ball one. No count here with two outs. Pitch from Saldana. Swung on and fouled off. Katie Wise right to the backstop. Wise standing very close to the front of the batter's box as well. I wonder if it's because Saldana's throwing a lot of curveballs here. Is that one's going to be start in the zone and then curve low and outside for ball two. 2-1 two count here to Wise. Two outs, runners on first and second here for Woodlands Christian. Eva Saldana still on the mound here for St. Joseph. And go. the hit, it go. goes right in between the first and second baseman. Coming around home is Paige and she's gonna get there. Nice hit from the pitcher, Katie Wise. The grounder hit right in between the first and second baseman for the RBI single. It's going to go ahead and score. Let's go ahead and score Melber. And advancing to third base is catcher Ashley Derelek. First and third now. Katie Wise on first. and. Coming up to the plate is Maddie Hopkins, who takes high and inside for strike one. Nice RBI there from the pitcher, Katie Wise, helping herself out. Let's get the Woodlands Christian now with a 3 nothing lead. That's going to be high and outside for ball one. Saldana trying to get out of this one here. Not a lot of hard hits on this inning, just Defense has struggled to get to it as Woodlands Christian just hitting the balls right in all the right places. And that's going to be hit high to right field. Bienski coming in, or left field. Bienski could not get it. And that's going to be an error on Bienski as Maddie Hopkins is going to get over to second. It's going to be a timeout here called by St. Joseph Catholics assistant coach here. She's going to get all the infield in, talk to him a little bit here. 
Recap though, Matty Hopkins hit a fly ball over to left fielder Emily Bienski. Bienski not able to handle it though. Hopkins gonna get over to second. Derelix gonna get home on that one. And Katie Wise is gonna get over to third. It's gonna score the fourth run here for Woodlands Christian. That's St. Joseph now walking back to their positions. Coming up to play now is shortstop senior Mackenzie Morris. Had a double in the first inning. They hit one over the head of Bienski in that left field grass. Able to hit off the wall. Let's we'll see what Morris can do here with runners on second and third. Wise at third, Hopkins at second. And the swing, and that's high all the way over there to Bienski. And Bienski can get under this one and record the third out there for the inning. Really nice bottom of the second inning though for Woodlands Christian, able to score three runs off of, the third. Off of oh, four, four zero. That's inning. Off two hits in that inning. Two errors, unfortunately, on St. Joseph Catholic as they're gonna go over the top of the third. Don't go anywhere. We're here out at the Woodlands Christian Academy. Currently the score is four to nothing. Warriors lead over the St. Joseph Eagles. Welcome back into the Woodlands Christian Academy. Kyle Harris on the call here. Very sorry about the score, guys. It's a little bit dark over here. And that went right back to the pitcher as um, Bame is going to line out to Wise for the first out of the inning. Let me go ahead and adjust the score for y'all here. Very sorry about that. It's going to be four to nothing. Woodlands Christian leads. Come up to plate now is number two center fielder Lana Lipscomb. It's going to be ball one low and inside. Struck out back in the first inning to pitcher Katie Wise, who's after that first inning where she had a couple walks. She had a hit by pitch in the last inning, but had had a strikeout. And Two strikeouts on the first, so three strikeouts on the game here for Wise. As that one's hit down the line, foul ball, but really nice snag from Hopkins as she dived out on that near the first base sideline to grab that one, but it was considered foul territory. So here we go. See what Lipscomb can do here. Pitch from Wise is going to be high and outside. Yeah, 
fouled back to the backstop. Lipscomb did. Caught off the backstop was Derelict. Throws over to Wise. And it's going to be 2-2 count here for Lipscomb. One out. Pitch from Wise. Going to be another high and outside fastball here. Woodlands Christian had a really good bottom of the second inning. Starting out with an RBI single from Katie Melber, followed by a hit by pitch to Ashley Derelict, and then Katie Wise, the pitcher, hit an RBI single in between the first and second baseman to get three runs scored there in that bottom of the second inning. Popped up and into foul territory. Running in was Blackwell, unable to get it though. And Lipscomb gonna get another opportunity here as she fouls that one off. assistant coach over here telling Lipscomb that she's a little bit late on the swing. Needs to see it and swing a little bit quicker and that time it's going to be sh strike three there from Wise as Lipscomb just swung right through it, couldn't catch up with it and that's going to be four strike out of the day here for Wise. Two outs here now for St. Joseph Catholic. Coming up to plate now is going to be catcher Elena Cooter. See what Elena can do. Back in the first inning, she got walked by Wise. One of the two that she had. and That one bounce in to Derelict for ball one. Wind starting to pick up a little bit out here at Wildens Christian. Bowling a little bit in toward us, the pitch from Wise. Fastball outside, Cooter couldn't catch up with it but fouled it off. Gonna be a 1-1 count here. Two outs for Katie Wise. St. Joseph trying to get something started as they've only got one hit in the ball game in the second inning and swung on and missed. Cooter couldn't hold up on the high fastball. And Wise gonna go ahead with a one-two count. O-two count, excuse me. O-two count here to the catcher Cooter. Pitch from Wise, low and inside. It's gonna be ball one. Wise still ahead here with the one-two count. Trying to get out of this one. Sam Woodlands Christian back up to the plate. The pitch is going to be high and outside for ball two. Wise has struggled a little bit with control today as she's walked two and hit one batter. Cooter was one of the walks she had in the first inning. The pitch, Cooter's gonna foul this one off down the third base line. Stay into it here. Still see some more fans coming to the ballpark here today at Woodlands Christian Academy. Boys still out there. As you hear the crack of the bat, working on batting practice behind us. The wind has picked up a little bit here, blowing in toward us, though, and that's going to be strike three as Cooter couldn't catch up with that slider that went outside. Five strikeouts on the day for Katie Wise as Woodlands Christian comes up to bat now in the bottom of the third. Score currently four to nothing. Woodlands Christian leads over St. Joseph Classic. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Vibe Houston.
Welcome back at the two, the Woodlands Christian Academy. Kyle Harris here with you. Thank you for all tuning in. If you're just tuning in now, current score, the Woodlands Christian Academy leads over St. Joseph Catholic four to nothing in the bottom of the third. Center fielder Keela Chamberlain coming up to bat. Takes the first ball high and outside for ball one. Saldana still on the mound here for St. Joseph Catholic as she struggled last inning, giving up a couple hits and three runs scored there for Woodlands Christian as Chamberlain takes ball two in the dirt. Pitch from Saldana inside, getting close to Chamberlain's legs there as she backs away for ball three. Chamberlain threw out to the shortstop Bame back in to end the first inning. That's going to be strike one. Called the Chamberlain here now as she was auto taken on the 3 0 pitch. Chamberlain steps in the pitch from Saldana and swung, and that's going to be fouled down the left into left field there for Chamberlain on third base side. Coach Maddock telling Chamberlain to protect here on 3 2 count, but to try and stay centered with the swing. Good job of Saldana work her way back into the count now. 3-2 pitch from Saldana, swung on and fouled off over the left field side. Chamberlain battling here and way ahead of the ball. She needs to sit back just a little bit more. She's very early swing down third base sideline. There's another one right over the, right into the pitcher's area here at the Woodlands Christian Academy, down the left field side. Third foul she's had in a row. Saldana with three straight strikes coming back from that 3-0 count, the pitch, and that's gonna be low and in the dirt. Really good job there for Chamberlain to get the walk on that one. It's gonna be the first walk issued to Saldana today. As we're in the bottom of the third. And that's gonna be bunted down by Maddie and she's safe. Wow, Kirby Page putting down the bunt to get to first there and she's safe on the infield bunt. Got the bunt hit for third baseman, the freshman Kirby Page coming up now is the right fielder Sierra Blackwell with runners on first and second, no outs here for Woodlands Christian. Gonna swing on through that first strike. Strike one here to Blackwell. Pitch from Saldana. Really close to hitting Blackwell there as that ball didn't curve for her. Blackwell struck out back in the second inning. One of the two strikeouts of the day here for Saldana. Blackwell showing bunt. She bunts, but it's hit fouled back, hit high in the air back behind the catcher for strike two. One-two count here to Blackwell. 
no outs. Runners on first and second. She swings. It goes to left fielder Bienski. Bienski getting under it, and she catches it. First out of the inning here for St. Joseph. Now coming up to the plate, left fielder, number 25, Katie Melber. The junior had an RBI single right in front of left fielder Bienski back in the second inning to get things started. And swung on a miss there. Melber a little bit ahead of it, and Saldana caught her with the off-speed curveball to get her for strike one. Could be a double play opportunity here for St. Joseph as runners on first and second for Woodlands Christian. Swung on a miss there. Melber is really wasn't confident in that swing. Ball just kind of hung up there high and outside and just kind of took a weak cut on that one for the 0-2 count. The pitch from Saldana and fouled off by Melber, high and inside there and battled it off, hit it off the home plate to stay in it. Melbourne can do here. Saldana the pitch. The off speed caught Melbourne for the third strike out of the game here for Saldana as Melbourne just couldn't hold up on the off speed and swung through a little bit too early for out number two. Coming up now is the nine hole hitter Reagan Harris, the senior second baseman. Runners on first and second. Let's see what Harris can do here. Saldana the pitch. Harris is going to contact. It's going to get over the shortstop's head and drop right in between her and Lipscomb. And coming around to score is going to be Keela Chamberlain. Coming around for the fifth run of the day here for Woodlands Christian as Harris just hit a blooper right over the shortstop Bames head. Lipscomb, the center fielder coming in to get it, throws home but not in time to get Chamberlain. Page advances to second on that hit. Single there for Harris. First hit for her is going to get her on first. Now bringing up top of the order in Derelict. Derelict going to swing at the first pitch high and back. The center fielder, Lipscomb under it, and that's going to do it. Three outs for the inning there, but not before Woodlands Christian was able to get another run on the board here as it's now five to nothing here at Woodlands Christian Academy. That's gonna be it for the bottom of the third. Don't go anywhere for the top of the fourth. We'll be right back. You're watching TWCA Softball on Vibe Live. get a good enough jump, right coach? She's not getting she's not getting a good enough jump right on the ball well, when she's coming in. Or? The way she does it is that she doesn't spin home and she does it. She oh, I got you. so she does like a half she does like a half motion to come back and then she's not getting her full power coming through. <laughs> and then and then her bat's like late, her body's moving forward, you know, quicker than her bat.
Welcome back in. We're at the Woodlands Christian Academy. Currently, Woodlands Christian Lady Warriors lead five to nothing over the St. Joseph Catholic Eagles. And first hit of the game, that's gonna be squared up by Costello. Gobbled up by Harris over to Hopkins for out number one. Castaleja tried to get it going early there. First pitch of the inning and just not able to find that hole in the infield there for out number one. Katie Wise is still on the mound here for your Woodlands Christian Warriors. First baseman Bailey Harris now stepping up to the plate and she takes ball one low and inside, bounces off the dirt. Harris up for her second plate appearance here. Had a strikeout looking to end the first. See if Harris can make up for it here in the top of the fourth. Pitch from Wise. It's gonna be hit actually. Bailey Harris on her knee did not back away. She's gonna take the free base. Second hit by pitch today by Katie Wise. Now Emily Bienski comes up to the plate here. The right fielder for St. Joseph Catholic. She struck out back in the top of the second inning to Katie Wise. Wise with the pitch and coming around to bunt is Bienski. She's gonna drop it down. Nobody at first though. Second baseman coming over but she's too late. And Bienski's safe. Nice bunt there as Hopkins and Wise both were coming in to get it and there was nobody on first after Wise had grabbed it because the first baseman Hopkins had came in to also get the bunt attempt. Harris was a little bit late to get over to second and that allowed Bienski enough time to get over to first on the on the on the wall on the bunt. Bunt single there for Bienski. Gets Harris over to second now. St. Joseph working with some runners here. The second hit of the game here for St. Joseph Catholic on that on that bunt single. Coming up now is Bienski. Her sister, second baseman, is going to take ball one low and inside. Bryn Bienski was hit by pitch in the second inning and got caught stealing on an attempt. And she's going to try and bunt. Great bunt down the first base sideline. Hopkins going to grab it, though, and tag Bienski as she's coming toward her. And now Harris showing that she's not afraid to run from third to home if she needs to. But Hopkins came in and forced her to go back to the base. First pitch is going to be fouled back to the backstop for Gabby Roy. Runners on second and third here with two outs for St. Joseph Catholic. Coming up to the eighth hole hitter, D.H. Gabby Roy. Had a single back in the second inning for the first hit of the game. She's going to make contact, but that's going to go back to the backstop as well for Roy. 0-2 count here now for Wise to try and get out of this jam. Roy hit one right over the head of Harris back in the second inning. Pitch from Wise is really nice pitch and umpire took a while to call it but finally on a late signal called strike. It looked very in the zone and she got Gabby Roy looking for her sixth strike out of the game. They did get out indeed and that's gonna be it for the top of the fourth inning. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with the bottom of the fourth action as the Woodlands Christian tries to continue their streak of getting at least one run every inning. You're watching TWCA Softball on Vibe Live.
Welcome back in to Vipe Live. Kyle Harris with you at the Woodlands Christian Academy. Current score here is five to nothing. As we are now in the bottom of the fourth inning, pitcher Katie Wise up to the plate. She takes ball one. Eva Saldana still on the mound here for St. Joseph Catholic. Second pitch is going to be high and inside for ball number two. So far, the Woodlands Christian Warriors have scored one run at least in every inning. Scored one in the first, three in the second, and one in the third. Pitch from Saldana to Wise is going to be low. Hits the dirt, takes a bounce, and goes in the catcher Cooter's glove. 3-0 count here for Wise. I'm sure this is just going to be an auto-take opportunity here. Let's see what Saldana, Saldana does here. and Actually, Wise is going to take a hack at it. As Saldana comes with the off-speed pitch there on the 3-0 count. Get Wise chasing that one to foul it off. 3-1 three three count here for the junior, Katie Wise. The pitch from Saldana is going to be low, and that's going to be a walk issued. First walk issued to Katie Wise today. Back in the first inning, she had a strikeout in an RBI single. Now with the walk here in the top of the fourth to lead off. Coming up to the plate now is senior first baseman Maddie Hopkins. Hopkins had a single up the middle for the first hit of the game here for Woodlands Christian and then got to second base on an error from the outfielder back in the second. The off-speed pitch gonna fall right in there to the zone for strike one for Eva Saldana. Really uses that curveball as much as she can keep hitters off speed. Curveball, fastball is what I've seen mostly from Saldana today. Another off speed is going to be high and hung up. The shortstop, Bame gets it, tries to flip it over to second, Bienski, and getting there in time is Katie Wise, who is safe. First and second on the single there from Maddie Hopkins. Kenzie Morris swings one foul way ahead of it down the third base dugout. Morris had a double back in the first, RBI double, excuse me, back in the first to score Hopkins after she hit that single up the middle. She flew out, though, to the left fielder, Bienski, back in the second. High and outside for ball one. Runners on first and second. No outs here for Ma senior Mackenzie Morris. She's going to swing away. It's going to go to the center fielder, Lipscomb. Lipscomb coming in. She's going to grab it, try and throw over to second, but... Wise gets back in there safe. Morris with a nice swing, but hit that right to Lipscomb for out number one. One out here for St. Joseph Catholic. Coming up now, center fielder, number 33, Keela Chamberlain. Just saw our last inning to start off. Let off the inning with a walk and Fouling off the first pitch here to Chamberlain to the backstop. She flew out to the shortstop back in the first. And then had that leadoff walk here in the third as we see her now in the fourth. The pitch from Saldana is going to be inside. Called strike. My home plate umpire. 0-2 count now here to Chamberlain. She's going to swing that one high and away. 
fouled off the third base sideline. Interesting here, Chamberlain, her at bat in the third inning started with three straight balls and then Saldana came back to throw some pitches for her to foul off and then she ended up getting a walk. And waiting on the dugout here for a ball, got one over to Saldana here. But yeah, interesting now, Chamberlain started with the 3-0 back in the beginning of the third inning now with the 0-2 here. One two count here as Chamberlain takes the high off speed pitch in for ball one. Saldana still working here, trying her best for her team here as that one just hung hangs up high and Chamberlain no attempt there for ball number two. Runners on first and second, one out. Pitch to Chamberlain, she swings, hits it over the left fielder, Biansky. Biansky coming in, can't get to it, drops right in front of her, and she lets it actually get by her and go all the way to the wall. Coming around to score is Wise and Hopkins on the RBI double there for Keela Chamberlain. RBI double there for Chamberlain coming up to the plate now. Third baseman, freshman Kirby Page. Seven to nothing now. The Woodlands Christian Academy leads over St. Joseph Catholic. Chamberlain at second here. Pitch from Saldana, Kirby Page swings it up. High and outside. He's gonna fall over to the kiddos who are back there behind the bleachers in the backstop picking up the softballs. Saldana here only with one out. Here for St. Joseph Christian. St. Joseph Catholic, excuse me. That one's going to be ball low and inside here to Page. Ball two. High and outside there for Saldana. Page takes it. 3-1 count here. One out. Chamberlain at second. Pitch from Saldana to Page. Page connects, hits it over the shortstop, Bame. Bame trying to get up and throw, and she's a little bit too late. Took Harris off the first base pass, and it's going to be another base hit here for Woodlands Christian. It's going to send Chamberlain over the third. Runners on the corners here for right fielder Sierra Blackwell. Flew out to the left fielder last at bat. Had a strikeout in the second inning. Pitch from Saldana, she comes around, bunt, gets it down to third baseman. Third baseman Castaleja goes and looks and she's gonna go ahead and get Blackwell running to first, but good, good bunt to get the runners over there on that one for Blackwell. Runner advances on the bunt though. Sack bunt for Blackwell as Melber swings through and misses strike one. Left fielder Katie Melber had an RBI single back in the second and struck out in the third. Pitch from Saldana is low and inside for ball one. Runners on second and third now is Chamberlain and Page. Woodlands is for sure going to town out here, Lynn. Is that's going to be hit Melbourne over to the second baseman. Bienski bobbled it though, but she is going to go ahead 
and get the force out at first. Four three to end the bottom of the fourth, but not before some damage was done by the Woodlands Christian Warriors as they scored two in that inning, have seven total on the day. As we head to the top of the fifth, don't go anywhere. You're watching TWCA softball on Vipe Live. that college one more time that's a long one Western Oklahoma State College thank you welcome back into Vipe live here Kyle Harris with you at the Woodlands Christian Academy where currently the Lady Warriors are crushing on the Lady Eagles seven to nothing here as Katie Wise goes to the bump for the fifth time today, strike one to pitcher Eva Saldana. It's only Saldana's second attempt, second plate appearance here, as she had one back in the second, and she flew out to the catcher derelict. Pitch from Wise is high and way too high for derelict to handle, and it's going to be ball one here for Woodlands Christian. That last inning. Willis Christian had two runs on three hits, no errors, two left on base, and one walk. Seven runs total on the day as Saldana fouls that one to the backstop. Woodlands Christian doing a really good job here today against St. Joseph Catholic, but St. Joseph Catholic is one of the smaller schools out here in the state of Texas as Eva Saldana, the pitcher, is going to go ahead and smack one over to right field, get in between the second baseman Harris and the right fielder Blackwell. Blackwell able to get it in, though, but it's going to be a single there for the pitcher Saldana. Yeah, just as I was saying, one of the... Um, this is one of the smaller schools out here in the state of Texas as I was talking to head coach Alex Castaleja before the game about his team and actually said he's struggling with the amount of girls he has on his team. Only 78 total people in the entire school that they have over there at St. Joseph Catholic out in Bryan, Texas. Madeline Bame taking the first pitch ball one outside from Katie Wise. Y has been dominant on the mound today with six strikeouts, only allowing two hits and no runs. Just going to go. Bame taking another ball inside there. Yeah, 
75 people in all of St. Joseph Catholic, man. I couldn't imagine having that small of a school, and that's going to be popped out in over the backstop as Derelict runs over there. Was speaking with the mom of number 88, the catcher, Ashley Derelict. The seniors actually committed to Western Oklahoma State College. So good luck to her and her journey after high school, as well as she let me know the shortstop Mackenzie Morris is actually committed to HBU out here in Houston. The hit from Bame and bad throw, but Derelict catches him back and he's gonna get the out at first. Bad, bad base running there for Saldana as she just didn't wait at first. She ran as soon as Bame made contact. Bame, Bame flies out to the right fielder, Blackwell. And Blackwell threw it in to try and get Saldana, who who was running off to second. I mean, didn't even give think about, you know, possibly them catching the ball. And she was almost all the way to second when Blackwell caught it. Blackwell throw it in a little bit wild, though, and had to get stopped by Derelict, the catcher, who got it, threw it over to Hopkins at first for the double play. Tough base running there for Saldana. That brings up Lipscomb here with two outs. It's gonna be the second ball thrown here at the plate for Katie Wise. Lena Lipscomb has struck out both at bats back in the first and third inning. See what she can do here in the top of the fifth. Pitch. It's going to be swung on and popped up to the first baseman, Hopkins, who handles it easily in foul territory. And that's going to do it here for the top of the fifth inning. Warriors still leading 7 0 over St. Joseph Catholic Eagles. You're watching TWCA Softball on Vipe Live. She was like taking off the second after a pop up, you yeah, know. Yeah. A little bit, little bit off. <laughs> she was spacing second when she threw that. Yeah. And she just hit right in the middle of him, huh? <laughs> it's all right though. Derelict Dere Dere was able to help her out there. Yeah. Though. Little assist. Go around the horn before you get it to first. Hey, that's what it's about, right? Hit her, or you think she's coming in to play second? You don't know. Okay. No worries. Welcome back in to the Woodlands Christian Academy. Kyle Harris here with you on the call. Bottom of the fifth inning. We have a substitution here. Number 20, Jillian Kraft, has come in to hit for second baseman Reagan Harris. We'll see if Kraft stays in the game to play defense or if she's just a pitch hitter here. And that's going to hit her back foot. And Kraft, for her first plate appearance here, going to get a little hit by pitch, walk over to first to start the inning. Woodlands Christian been very dominant in this game. Currently 7 to nothing. have scored at least one run in every inning, one in the first, three in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth. 
Here comes star catcher Ashley Derelick. The senior. She smacked that ball in between left and right field, and that's gone. Ashley Derelick with the first home run of the game, a two-run shot right over the left field head in between Bienski and Lipscomb, and she's going to get to celebrate with the girls. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. They all kind of fell down like, pin, like pinballs. All right, two-run homer there for Ashley Derelick, and that's going to – Put them up now nine to zero here on the game. Really made great contact with that ball as just flew right over the left field fence. Right over that Houston orthodontic sign out there in left center field. Now coming up to the plate is pitcher number five, Katie Wise. She had a walk in her Last plate appearance, last inning. The pitch, he hits it right over to the right fielder, Badgett. Badgett able to get under it and come up with it, though. Nice play by Badgett out there in right field to come up with that one. One out here for St. Joseph Catholic. Coming up now to the plate is senior number 24, Maddie Hopkins. Hopkins had a single. Her last at bat, pretty sure it was a, a bunt single. Her last at bat, memory serves me right. That's gonna be low and inside for ball one. Hopkins started the game off here for Woodlands Christian with the first hit of the game, right over pitcher's head, right over the pitcher Saldana's head, back in the bottom of the first. Just gonna go ahead and take the curve ball in for strike, for strike one. A one, one count here to Hopkins, nobody on base with one out. Saldana unable to follow through with that one. Just gonna leave it high for ball two. Two one count here to Hopkins. Pitch from Saldana, it's gonna go right back to her. And she's going to throw it over to first, Harris, but that's going to be an error as Harris couldn't handle the throw from Saldana. Now they're going to second, and she's safe. Wow, really good base running there by Maddie Hopkins as she took she took a route all the way around the base paths. As it's going to be an error on the pitcher. And then when they try to get back into second, Hopkins was already on her way to third. She got in close play there, but she got in with the slide safely. And so it's going to be an E1 for Hopkins as she gets all the way over to third base. Coming up now to the plate, number shortstop, the, C, er, the shortstop number 10, Mackenzie Morris. She's going to hit one over down the third baseline. Castaleja gets it, but she's had to dive for it. And by the time she got up, it wasn't enough time for Morris. And that's going to go ahead and score in Hopkins for the 10th run of the ball game. Ball game, run rule? Yep, because it's bottom of the fifth, right? Yep, so that's, run rule comes into play, and that's gonna do it here. Very quick game out here at the Woodlands Christian Academy, as your final score is gonna be the Woodlands Christian Lady Warriors winning over the St. Joseph Catholic Eagles 10 to nothing. Kenzie Morris finishes off with a single over to first, and that's going to do it as the run rule comes into, into place. Really nice job here for both clubs. Three runs scored, though, in that fifth inning is going to be enough to get the game over and done with. I'm gonna tally up the statistics here and I'll come back with the conclusion and let you know in just a second what I have here for my statistics.
welcome back in. I'll go ahead and take it. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Derelict. And that's going to do it here. Is got a little bit of closing statistics here for you. KDY is on the day. Five innings pitched, only giving up three hits, no runs, and two walks on six strikeouts. Really dominant pitching performance here for St. Joe, uh, for Katie Wise and the Woodlands Christian. On the other side, even Saldana had a rough at go at it. Five innings pitched, giving up 11 hits, 10 runs, two walks, and three strikeouts. And that was pretty much all she wrote. I mean, just really good hitting here by this Woodlands Christian club, now bringing them up to 2-1. Want to give a thanks to head coach Katie Maddock as well as head coach over at St. Joseph, Alex Castaleja, for getting me some rosters this morning, as well as thank you to my team over at Vipe, Len, Merle, Suna. I really appreciate y'all being with me here this morning and everybody else tuning in out here at the Woodlands Christian Academy. That's going to do it here for me, Kyle Harris, signing off at the Woodlands Christian Academy. Your final score, Woodlands Christian Lady Warriors win 10-0 over St. Joseph Catholic Lady Eagles.